Hi there, my name is Ollie and I'm going to be answering the question of um, why I chose BSMS uh, to go to medical school. And essentially it's because of the amazing student satisfaction scores that BSMS consistently gets. Um, because it's yeah well established that um, you know once you become a doctor, it doesn't matter what medical school you went to, you get all the same opportunities. So, you know, if you went to a more prestigious sounding university, that doesn't mean you'll, you're a better doctor or um, have more opportunities than other ones. Meaning, um, well, it meant to me that, you know, you might as well go somewhere that you can have a lot of fun being a student at, um, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't essentially really matter academically where you go. Um, and BSMS is always top of that student satisfaction list. So I thought, you know, if there's 99 or whatever it is now, 95% of people going here love it, then, Stats wise, I mean, those odds are looking pretty good for me loving it too. Um, and yeah, and I was proven right, thankfully. And I'm starting my fifth year now um, at, BS, uh, at BSMS. And uh, yeah, it was definitely, definitely the right call. I've loved it. Uh, and it's, yeah, great school. I think the part of the course that I found most interesting is. Um, learning all about patient social histories and how to um, effectively uh, get them from patients, essentially. Um, because yeah, before I came to medical schools, I didn't really have an appreciation for how much social history, like, you know, your lifestyle, who you live with, um, whether you smoke, whether you drink alcohol, what your, what your job is, for example, um, whether you have a job, all that sort of stuff has such a profound impact on, on health at a population scale. Um, and I really didn't appreciate that before. Um, and now, uh, yeah, there's such an emphasis on really getting into sort of the nitty gritty stuff of people's social histories and how um, their lifestyle and things like that have an impact on their overall health. And I think that was just something that I, um, my perception of it was quite wrong and medical school uh, showed me the light basically. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. I think my top tip for applicants applying to medical school um, is basically just practice, practice, practice uh, before you do your interviews, before you do your entrance exams. Um, just do as much practice as you can because um, it's definitely worth putting in the work to make sure that you do get to medical school. Because once you're in medical school, you're in. You know, you can relax, basically. Well, not completely relax, but you don't have to worry about... Um, uh, you know, getting into medical school, obviously, um, which is really, really nice. Uh, so, and then it is great. It's such a relief when you do get in um, and then all your hard work will have paid off, which hopefully will be the case. Uh, and then also my other advice is when you do get in is make the most of every opportunity. Um, after medical school, you're going to be a doctor for most people, a doctor for the next 50, 50 years-ish, um, whereas you're only a student for five or, or six, which is a very long time but in the grand scheme of things you might as well do all the things you can when you're a student and um, make the most of those opportunities.